Welcome to Distilling the Dream, and here we are. Winter is coming yet again. Second winter, being here on site, it's getting dark, it's getting dreary, it's getting wet and windy every day, it's getting colder, and uh, well, it, it doesn't really matter because we can actually go inside. So uh, let's do that, and I got married as well. So yeah, no reason to be miserable, come on. So here we go, first time walking in as a married man, across the threshold. Will I carry you across? I don't know in a minute. Okay, perfect. So he'll come down, I'll carry him across the threshold. But yeah, I have to say it feels different. I feel like they just did this just for me. Was this just for me? Huh? Was this all just for me? Just for you now. Lovely, oh my God. I just feel so appreciated. It's great. The Oyster Bar is looking amazing. There's also a brand new lift. So we have not been in the brewery for months and months and months. It looks like it could start today or tomorrow if it wasn't so bloody dusty. I honestly don't know how they're gonna clean all that. God, I'm such a husband. I've been told that the guys have taken delivery of new silos. So for the next few minutes, I'm going to pretend that I know everything there is to know about silos and their use and their capacity. Right, I think that might be the silo. Just a guess. That's your classic 16,200 litre silo. Let's keep going. Ah. Now they are silos. That one silo was pretty cool, pretty big, pretty impressive, but no, no, no. This is Killarney Brewing and Distilling Company. We're not just gonna have one dinky little silo. We're gonna have seven gigantic ones. I should have known better. Welcome to the Fuller Kitchen. This will be open to the bar. You'll be eating, you can see in. As Barry said, there's nothing being hidden here. You can see how the gin, the whiskey, the beer is made, and of course the food being prepared as well. And it's being served to you just in there. Now that I've figured out everything about the silos, it's time to figure out what else is going on on site. Meet resident artist, John Crowley. A competition for somebody to come up with a sculpture, to then be placed in front of the building exactly. once it's all said and done. And here's the man who's working on site and yeah. has actually all won. Around, yeah. yeah. So it was an open competition, you know, so you would uh, submit your ideas. Uh, they shortlisted us down to, I think it was five. Yeah. And then you had to come up with a little maquette, which is like a to scale model of the piece. So it's almost like a hybrid between a beehive hut as an enclosed space. So you walk through it, so there's a journey. So there's a little seating area and inside and then it's going to be lined with copper, so it's kind of complementary to the materials used here in the yeah. distillery. When is that sculpture going to be there and on site? I hope to have your plant in there in the next two, three weeks, yeah. hopefully. Is it all going to be made up here on site? 99% um, of it will be made on site, so it would be nice to watch the progress on a weekly basis. I was hoping to talk to Frank today. He's the health and safety officer, but Frank is far too busy making sure all our lives are protected. Remember when I said that we found the silos? We, we did not find the silos. Here they are. Three of them outside here. We're going to do the silo test, don't worry. We'll do that when they've finished doing the dangerous thing I should be nowhere near at the moment. Looks like they're carrying a giant ladder to fix to the side of it. ago we talked about the number of doors that were going to be installed on site. Today the work has started. Well, her things, carpenter. What are you up to? What are you carpenting? Hanging doors. We've just had 11 delivered but I think there's another 54 coming in the first week of December. Is there anything specific about these doors? They're very heavy. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, 
lot taller than normal doors. I think with the high ceilings, so they're, they're eight foot high as opposed to a standard kind of eighty inch high. Okay. And what was the reasoning behind that? Is I think high ceilings. Mm -hmm. I think smaller doors would be lost in a place like this. How long does it take to put in every door? Just to swing it without putting the furniture on. You're probably talking about half hour, forty five minutes per door. Sometimes you might have to trim a little door. Sometimes an opening might not be as straight as it should be. So you got to play around a little bit and move something a bit. Mm -hmm. So there's always. There's nothing ever goes right the first time. <laughs> yeah, we, we know that. <laughs> and there you go. What a beautiful day of catching up on all the progress that's been happening. And there was a lot of progress to catch up on. Beautiful here on site. Even the weather started to brighten up. That's how positive it's been here on site. Till next time.